Hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to a book versus movie adaptation thingy. <laughs> oh, wow. Yay. Um, so, for today's video, we are talking the hating game. <sighs> Why did I do that? It's not a spooky one. So I read the book by Sally Thorne and I thought, you know, might as well watch the movie as well because there's been a lot of like talk about the movie book, what's what not. Um, yeah, and I figure short book, short movie, let's make a video. <laughs> so I read the book. So it's a rom-com, I'd say, the story. So, long ago in a faraway land, it's, it's, it's in the real world, let's be honest here. Anyway, long ago, there were two publishing companies, one called Bexley and one called Gammon. And they were both struggling in the economy uh, or whatnot. And so they merged and became BNG. Two publishing houses co co combining and making one means they have two bosses, which also means they have two, I want to say personal assistant. It's not exactly clear, but they basically are personal assistant to the bosses. So we have Lucy, who is the Gammon one, and then we have Joshua, who is the Bexley one. So yeah, and basically they sit in this office together and just compete against each other because they hate each other. They're so obvious. <sighs> and, you know, as we all know, they don't actually hate each other. Well, they do and they don't, I suppose, but they are competing against each other and they have these, like, opposites attract. They're not really opposites. They're quite similar, aren't they? Um, but basically, they think the other hates them. So, there's that. That's basically the gist of it. But there is a promotion ahead, uh, which will basically be, because they are, like, as far up in the game as they can be, but basically, this promotion would be that the other one would have to report to the other one. One would have to report to the other. That makes more sense. And uh, them being who they are, very combat competitive, competitive, um, they set out to get this promotion, obviously. And so the games begin. In the movie, we have Lucy Hale, a very beautiful actress uh, playing Lucy. And then we have Austin Stowell. Uh, Stowell? Austin Stowell, um, who plays Joshua. Now, I haven't seen him in anything before, so he was very new to me. But Lucy Hale, I have seen in a lot of different things. Not just pretty little things, but other things. The chemistry between them is actually quite good. And I did enjoy their, like, dynamic. And at the end of the day, I actually enjoyed the movie version more than I did the the book version because they changed some things that made it more believable in a way. Some events um, were changed, uh, not changed per se, but they'd uh, switch them around and such, uh, making it more flowy and believable. Uh, I did enjoy the book for what it was, uh, but I enjoyed the movie a lot more. However, so, there is this scene in which Lucy, um, she is very, very sick. And you get the sense that she's like, oh, she, she's super ill. However, for being a super ill person, she looks stunning. So, I mean, she's a beautiful person, but 
could they have not at least made it look like she was actually ill? Because she doesn't look ill. She's supposed to be ill, but she doesn't look it because she looks way too pretty to be ill. It's just a, it's a, a small detail. Just a small detail. Um, I, I mean, I get you're not wanting to look ugly and stuff, but sometimes you just gotta... Just, you just gotta... There were, like, minor details. So, in the book... Um, there is a certain like order to what or colors that Joshua wears and in the movie uh, Lucy goes and really like uh, specifically says all the colors and it's not the same colors but I think the colors suited the actor more uh, which they show than rather than the book ones um, so minor details like that doesn't bother, bother me at all um, <laughs> it was funny though because most of them were just blue different shades of blue <laughs> um i also enjoyed seeing lucy in a different kind of role i mean it's quite similar to what she's done before but it was a lot more grown up as it was so the ones i've seen her in before have she's been like either early teens or later teens early 20s um so it was fun to see her a bit more grown up um that's about really all i have to say about it but yeah like i said i enjoyed the movie a lot more than the book um also it was quicker to watch the movie than read the book i mean the book was a very quick read so don't get me wrong there but uh yeah i enjoyed the movie more than the book so i'd recommend that more because why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Um, but yeah, do let me know if you've read the book, seen the movie, uh, what are your thoughts on it? And um, did I miss something? Possibly. But who cares? It's just for a bit of a chat. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Oh, bye bye.